Hi everyone, here's your guy again, your handy dandy guy. Hey, I've got something even more cooler today that we're going to review together and watch how you can install it. And what is that? Ta-da! That is a faucet. It's a faucet, it's a K-Tune RZ8038 for the, the bold look of cola this is it right here isn't that cool it's looking really cool I really love this smooth of this you know the surface of it and what it looks like and I love it oh. so yeah um, let's go check it out and see what we need to install this faucet today All right and if you're new to my channel today, I need your help to click the like button, look like like button, <laughs> and click the share button, and also subscribe, all right? So that's the way you support me, all right? And you can also leave a comment if you love the product that I just reviewed, and if you want to know something about the product or where I got it, anything, just leave me a comment. I'll surely get back to you. Thank you. This is where we go into the box and see what's inside the box. All right. Remember, we're about to install the bold look of Cola faucet into the head. All right. So all you need, you're going to need a easy adjustable wrench and you're going to need hoses right and that's the picture of what it's gonna look like and how you're gonna install it but let's go to what brought us here what brought us here is to check the content of the box before we start the installation all right tada 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 first thing there is the installation guide that's what's going to guide us through everything. But that's installation guide. Let's put it to the side. So if you open your box and you don't see the installation guide, something is wrong. And tada, we have this. We're going to check what that is in the installation guide later on. And we have protector. And here is the main man. Oh, let's take it out of here. Let's move this back. Look at this bad boy. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. This, I'm loving it already. I wish you guys can feel it. You know, it's so heavy and it looks durable. And so, yeah, look at this, right? It's gonna sit right on the faucet uh, desk just like so and we're gonna install it so you're gonna have this in the box and you're gonna have this in the box and what else and that is pretty much everything in the box everything else is empty all right so now that we see everything that's in the box we just see that we don't need a lot of stuff in there now they're pretty straightforward the faucet and this adjustable stuff uh, I'll tell you what the name of this is when I'm installing it uh, maybe it's for the drain or something like that but we'll see so let's go do the installation this is the old faucet that I need to take out you can see it's pretty old and it's got the uh, the the uh, sink shorter thing in the back. You can tell that's the old style. Uh, this new one comes with something else. But I'm gonna show you how to uninstall your old and leaking faucets. Okay, that's the main reason why we're trying to replace this faucet. It's old and it can hold integrity anymore is leaking water so the integrity is being affected so now i'm gonna uninstall it real quick so you see how to install it 
how to uninstall it right there. So for you to uninstall this, you need two things. You need two adjustable spanner wrench, okay? Two adjustable spanner wrench, that's all you need. And I will show you how that's done right now. All right, so as you can see, I'm your plumber guy now. But for real though, I have a little plumbing experience back in Nigeria when I was in high school. So that experience come to use now. So here are my wrenches, okay? Yeah, this is the guy that's been talking. So this uh, style right here is the one that uses the a rigid hose, right? It's not a rubber hose, uh, but it, it's a rubber hose, but this is really, really rigid. It's not flexible, all right? So taking this out, you're gonna need two wrenches, right? You're gonna need one on, you're gonna need one on the nut, right? On the other one, on here. It's really tight in here, so if you're a bigger person, uh, just do extend your hand out and do this, right? So you're gonna, you know, this is the reason for the adjustable wrench, and you're gonna do just that and take that out. I already did that. I didn't want to do. I didn't want you to see the lengthy turning and turning and turning. That's why I'm just showing you this. So boom, that's done. Oh, one more thing. I just took off my eye protector. You need an eye protector under here to protect your eyes, okay? Because debris is gonna fall on your face. This thing has been there for what knows, like 10, 15, 20 years. So make sure you wear your eye protector, okay? PPE, personal, personnel protective equipment, okay? So that's how to take this out, right? And then once you are done unscrewing it, right? All you do is the stopper latch assembly. You detach that also from this. And so we're gonna take out the old sink. It's really old, right? That's a really old setup. And we're gonna install the new one. So after unscrewing everything from the bottom, it's gonna be really easy to pull this out from the top now. Do it slowly because you don't want to break anything. And voila, we got it out. So it's out now. And that's how to uninstall your old faucet. We're gonna keep it in here and we're gonna clean this area and take a measurement to see how much, uh, how long the supply holes for a new faucet need to be. So make sure you have a cleaning, make sure you have a cleaning rag ready to clean this area because you're gonna put the new one on there, you know? You wanna clean it up a little bit, right? So we got a little bit out. So you should have a three hole setting like this Again, this is American standard, right? I don't know if you're watching this from around the world where this is not the standard. Yours might be a different setup, right? And we have to put in our new. This is what we got, right? Here is the collar, right? Now, there's a sticker here that tells you which side is gonna take the cold supply hose. You see right there that so that's where you should install the the cold supply hose okay so let's take that out you can see right what does that say cold so cold supply hose goes on the right the labeled so we take this off right it's easy installation Take this off also. Easy installation. And it should fit right perfect into your new sink. Look at that, guys. It's really looking good. It's really, really looking good. Look at it sitting there. Sitting there so nice, right? Like a Batman stuff. <laughs> Batman. All right, so we got that in there, right? 
let's see in the bottom let's see how much how much uh supply holes we need how long it's gonna be so again you gotta tighten it down you screw that on there right that's what's gonna hold it down all right and you put that in there too make sure it spins freely if you have to force this washer screw in you're doing it wrong right so that's pretty all you that's pretty much all you need to do right there to hold it down right now we have a problem right now as you can see the supply hose is not long enough to reach our new cola faucet so it's not a really major problem we can fix this we just need to go and buy a long enough supply hose this is what's called supply hose hose okay so um we're gonna go buy that and install it okay and i will show you how that works before we go we need to measure it and know exactly what's what's gonna be the length of the supply hose that we need as you can see this is an old type of the supply hose the newer ones are really flexible and they have this uh, metal protection around it like a net around it all right let's take a measurement so in the manual right here it's telling us that we're gonna need a half inch by 14 supply hose all right now just to be safe you need to verify this okay i know there is industrial standards in the united states it should be exactly what's needed but just to be safe let's take a measurement to make sure you know it matches that's what's called trust but verify we trust cola but we need to verify <laughs> okay so now let's take a measurement so you're gonna measure a little bit from the thread from the thread of the um, faucet, right? All the way to the supply hose source. Like right here, right? You can see. So that's pretty much 14. You can see the 14 inch right there. You can see it. So we have trusted and verified this. So we trust this, right? And it matches. So we need to get a uh 14 inches long supply hose a half inch by 14 inch long supply hose and that's what we need guys let's go get it all right these are the supply for the faucet that i came to get i've got in it and it's really cheap from home depot we're going home now to go install it let's go so here we are we just ran to the store real quick and back we got our half inch by three eight by sixteenth supply hoses and we're gonna install that on there but first we gotta take out the old one you can tell these are pretty new and nice I like it put the new one slowly you can see it's got a seal in there you make sure that black gasket seal is in there okay both top and bottom right
after the next thing is to install the the drain body all right next thing is to take out this stem so we can install the new stem all right i'm improvising with this and it's working up really good next thing is to install the stem and then screw this from the bottom once this get on the other side right so let's slide it We are done with this beautiful installation today as you can see that is done and we got the seal. so the good thing about this is you can you shut this by pushing this down look at that seal it's closed push it is open right as you can see look we got that installed if you push it down see push down it's closed it's open now this is a very neat and new tech all right now we can take a look at the whole setup look at that so and we are ready to test this beautiful installation today I hope you guys are ready to see how this works perfectly. All right. So I'm um, I can't wait to show you guys how beautiful and how awesome this faucet is. It's time to test it out. We've remember you have to open back the valves on the bottom. I already did that for you. So now we're about to test it out. Whoa, first one in. Oh my gosh, it's working. Uh, let's open it all the way. Oh my gosh. Nice, I really love this. See, now if you wanna test the seal, close it. Look at that seal. Look at that seal, beautiful, 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 beautiful beautiful and nothing is leaking in the bottom look at that it's warm you know and then let's shut it it's stopped and let's open the seal Ta -da! so everything works nice now we're in business Nice, 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 nice. We're testing it. This is saving you some water. It's a water saver. Look at that. Wow. No leaks anywhere. 
everything is sealed you just push this with one hand and it seals and then you push it again and it's, it unlocks very beautiful very beautiful all right and that's how to install that beautiful faucet product the cola faucet that name even sounds like the rich people faucet <laughs> but it's okay so that's how to install it uh again this is my channel hakeem ajibose channel if you want to ask me anything leave your comment in the comment section below thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit the like and share button and subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel and see you in another video